In Norse mythology, Dokulvar, Old Norse, Dokulvar, Dark Elves, singular Dokulvar, and Eljoshalvar, Old Norse for Light Elves. Singular Eljoshalva are two contrasting types of elves, the former dwell within the earth and are most swarthy, while the latter live in Alfheim, and are fairer than the sun to look at. The Dokulvar and the Eljoshalva are attested in the Prose Edda, written in the 13th century by Snorri Sturluson, and in the late Old Norse poem Ravnagalda Oynes. Scholars have produced theories about the origin and implications of the dualistic concept. Topic: Attestations. Topic: Prose Edda. In the Prose Edda, the Dokulvar and the Eljoshalvar are attested in Chapter 17 of the book Gulvaginning. In the chapter, Gangleri the king Gilfi in disguise, asks the enthroned figure of High what other chief centers there are in the heavens outside of the spring Eurobrun. Gangleri responds that there are many fine places in heaven, including a place called Alfheim, Old Norse Elf Home, or Elf World. Hai says that the Eljoshalvar live in Alfheim, while the Dokulvar dwell underground and look and particularly behave quite unlike the Eljoshalvar. Hai describes the Eljoshalvar as fairer than the sun to look at, while the Dokulvar are blacker than pitch. As chapter 17 continues, Gangleri asks what will protect the beautiful hall of Gimle, previously described as the southernmost end of heaven. When the fires of Sorti are burn heaven and earth, Ragnarok, High responds that there are in fact other heavens. The first called Andlinga, he says, is south of and above this heaven of ours. And we believe Gimle is located in the third heaven, still further above that one. Viblaun. High adds that we believe it is only light elves who inhabit these places for the time being. Topic: <laughs> Ravnagalda Oins. There occurs an additional mention of the Dokulvar in the late Old Norse poem Ravnagalda Oins, Odin's Raven Galda, stanza 25. Topic. Theories and interpretations As the concept is only recorded in Gulvaginning and the late poem Ravnagalda Oynes, it is unclear whether the distinction between the two types of elves originated with Snorri, or if he was merely recounting a concept already developed. Topic. Question of Christian influence The sub-classification perhaps resulted from Christian influence, by way of importation of the concept of good and evil and angels of light and darkness. Anne Holtzmark aired this view, though with some reservation, since good versus evil dualism is not confined to Christian thinking. Aside from some additional observations to encourage the hypothesis, Holtzmark has been credited with demonstrating that Snorri borrowed from Christian writings, specifically that Snorri's description of Viblaun, the third heaven populated by light elves, was almost certainly influenced by and possibly based on the account of the angels in the Elucidarius. Dissenters of the view that elves were a later invention, such as Rudolf Simek and Gabriel Turville Petra, feel rather that dark and light aspects of the same beings not inherently unlikely, death and fertility cults often being closely related. <laughs> Dwarfs 
Since the Prose Edda describes the Dokulvar as being subterranean dwellers, they may be dwarves under another name. In the opinion of a number of scholars such as John Lindo, the Prose Edda also uniquely mentions the Svartalvar, black elves, but there are reasons to believe these also refer to merely dwarves. Consequently, Lindo and other commentators have remarked that there may not have been any distinction intended between dark elves and black elves by those who coined and used those terms. Lottie Motz's paper on elves commingles, and hence equates dark elves and black elves from the outset. <laughs> Grimm's Trinity Jacob Grimm surmised that the proto-elf was probably a light-colored, white, good spirit. While the dwarfs may have been conceived as black spirits by relative comparison, but the two classes of creatures were getting confounded, and there arose a need to coin the term light elf, eljoshalvar, or hetalvar, white elves, to refer to the elves proper. This was counterpart to the dark elf, dokulvar, or svartalvar. Black elves. Preferring it over duality, Grimm postulated three kinds of elves Lissolvar, Dokulvar, Svartalvar present in Norse mythology. But Grimm's tripartite division, as Shippy calls it, faced trouble in Snorri's statement that dark elves were pitch black, as this would lead to the first reduction that dark elves equals black elves. As a solution, Grimm pronounce s Snorri's statement fallacious and hypothesizes that dark elves were not really dark, but rather dingy or pale. And while conceding that such a trilogy still lacks decisive proof, draws parallels from the white, brown, and black subterranean in Pomeranian legend, and the white, pale, and black troops of spirits come to claim souls in the tale of Solomon and Markolf. Equals. <laughs> Topic. See also. Equals. Svartalvar equals Topic Notes Equals 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 Topic Explanatory Notes Equals 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 citations <laughs>